Aww, animals. Sorry, mate. Better luck next time. A ginormous croc got a little too friendly with a fellow Aussie who escaped with life and limbs intact for now. This is Matt Wright, Nat Geo's Outback Wrangler who recently got in trouble with the internet for duct taping the snout of another giant croc shot. On Monday, Wright was at Sweets Lagoon in Darwin, which is home to a 15-foot, 500-kilo monster saltwater crocodile named Otis. The Outback Wrangler claims he's mates with Otis and that the Salty recognizes his voice. Well, the beast recognized something, all right, because next thing you know, the croc rose out of the water and lunged to take a chunk right out of right. Um, perhaps that's just how crocs say hello? In any case, the big fellow missed, so Wright is still in one piece and can go right back to wrangling them crocs. He later posted a video of the encounter on his Facebook page, where it's gotten more than 50,000 views. Want to know what else is friendly down under? Keep watching. Exploding wolf spider horrifies Australian couple. An Aussie man got more than he bargained for after trying to kill a giant wolf spider as it scurried across the floor of his Hallett Cove home in South Australia. Oh, look, the baby's coming out. With of his it. wife squealing in the background, Danny Ford grabbed a broom to smash the giant spider on his kitchen floor. This should have been the end of the story, except for the fact the spider was very pregnant. Hundreds of baby arachnids poured out of their dying mother, quickly spreading across the tiled floor. Female wolf spiders' egg sacs are attached to the spider's silk spinning organs. Once the eggs hatch, the spiderlings crawl onto their mother's back and stay there for a few weeks. Unless, of course, they encounter a human with a broom. And as crazy and creepy as all of this sounds, we think Ford lucked out. Wolf spider bites are pretty nasty. Two male carpet pythons battle it out. Thanks. Ah, ah, shit. Yeah, shit. An Australian mom and her young son got a slithery surprise when they looked out of the window one day last week. Rebecca Beal from Gunungarra in New South Wales said unfortunately her son learned a few new swear words during the hypnotizing side of two male carpet pythons having a barney played out on her back porch. Ah, Australia. Where else on the planet could such scenes take place than the land where every living creature, apart from the koalas, seems hell-bent on trying to poison or swallow you whole? This is a place where if the venomous spiders, rapacious crocodiles, or great white sharks don't get you, then the Joe Blakes definitely will. In Australia, you don't go to Mother Nature. No, she comes to you. Even in their own homes, Aussies get a front row seat as some of the finest creatures in the animal kingdom try to get a stranglehold on supremacy. Ah! Sit. 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 Can you sit on me? According to Beale, the two pythons fell off the roof of her house on September 1st, which many down under consider to be the first day of spring. Beale said she and her little ankle biter watched with a mixture of fascination and disgust as the snakes had a real fair dinkum go at each other. Carpet pythons are native to Australia and can grow up to 13 feet long. They live on a diet of small mammals, birds, and lizards, though incidents of them swallowing small dogs and little blonde Australian boys are not unheard of. Okay, just kidding about the last one. But we don't see anyone going outside to test the theory. Yucky. Snake. Seems like the two snakes were happy to fight it out when they thought no one was watching. But as the pythons came to realize they weren't alone, the two supreme predators seemed to lose interest in one another. Instead, they focused their attention on the potential meal sitting right behind the glass door. Which means it was probably a good time to put yeah. down the camera, right. seal yeah. all the doors, and wait for Ouch. the snakes to slither on back into the bush. <laughs> Sharknado is real in Australia, mate. Australia. Where one minute you're throwing another shrimp on the bobby, and the next minute sharks are just dropping out of the sky. The awesome power of nature was on full display in Oz this week, when Cyclone Debbie battered the country's east coast with winds of up to 114 miles per hour. 
Even the deep blue sea offered no hiding place from the fierce storm, with some of Australia's famous deadly wildlife getting caught up in it all. It appears the cyclone picked up a five-foot-long bull shark, then dumped the beast on a road in a rural Queensland town. These photos were posted to Facebook by the local fire service. They warned that even though floods brought by the cyclone were receding, it wasn't safe to go back into the water just yet. So to anyone who ever mocked the Sharknado franchise, we say this. Sharknado isn't bull, it's real, and it happened down under. Of course, there's also the possibility that the shark was washed onto land by floodwaters, you know, either way. Be careful out there, mates! The Snake That Almost Stole Christmas Not even the holidays are safe in Australia, as one woman realized after she found a slithery surprise waiting in her Christmas tree. The one-meter-long reptile had likely gotten into the Frankston Melbourne home through an open door before making itself at home in the festively decorated tree. It wasn't long before the woman spotted the deadly new Christmas decoration, which turned out to be a venomous tiger snake. Notorious for their potentially fatal bites, the buggers are one of the most dangerous snakes in Australia and are common during the summer. Despite probably knowing all of this, the woman managed to remain calm. She holed herself up in a room before sending a photo of her guest to a professional snake catcher. 20 minutes later, the tiger snake was in a bag and Christmas was back to normal. It was eventually released back into the bush, far from humans and other Christmas trees. Phew, close one. Rouge need their morning cuppa too, you know. Diners at Goldie's Coffee House got an unexpected guest after a kangaroo crashed in for breakfast on Tuesday. The Roo had been wandering around the Epping Plaza shopping center and hopped into Goldie's while looking for a way out. Pancakes and flat whites were quickly abandoned as staff evacuated the cafe and called for help. Local police and an animal rescue volunteer arrived to collect the hoppity marsupial, who'd been affectionately nicknamed Goldie. Heidi the volunteer quickly engaged little Goldie by shaking her head at him. She held up a big blanket and came closer each time the Roo responded with a head shake of his own. At one point, Goldie had a fit after the lady got all up in his personal space. He knocked over chairs in a frantic attempt to leave. But Heidi had him cornered. More head shakes later, she had him safely wrapped in the blanket. Goldie had minor injuries from his journey to the mall, but he was later released into the wild and is now safely back with his family mall. Octopus just doesn't want to let go of a snorkeler's arm. This video shows a man who was snorkeling for rock lobster in Perth, Western Australia. He put his arm into an underwater cave and when he pulled it out, to his surprise, an octopus was latched around it. The animal had grabbed the man's arm with all its strength and simply wouldn't let go for several minutes. The man tried to pull it off, but it stubbornly lashed onto his other arm hard. Fortunately, it eventually disappeared into some seagrass, setting the snorkeler free.